if you want to improve your footwork, even not in the badminton court, there are exercises that you can do to achieve this. Practicing these drills can help you move efficiently when you are actually on court and develop good habits. In this video, I'll be showing you a workout that can help you efficiently cover your side of the court. A good footwork is very important for badminton. It's actually one of the fundamental things you need to learn to play a very high level of game. Why is footwork very, very important? Well, it's simple. Sure, you can run around the court as you please. But if you want to stay longer in the game, you want to be able to sustain your energy, then you have to have a good footwork so that you don't need to use up that much energy. I would like to think that as a kid, when we learned how to eat, when we were given utensils and taught how to eat, at first, we find it difficult. We even miss it. We have to consciously look at ourselves before we actually put the spoon in our mouths. But once we get used to it, once you get the hang of it, then you don't even need to look at the spoon. You can actually talk to your friends while you're eating. Footwork is pretty much the same. In the beginning, it seems hard. You have to keep on checking if you're doing it right. But once you get it, there's no need to think about it. You can just run with the footwork. And that's our goal. That's the target. So for today, our lessons will be on footwork. I will start with the footwork in front. Okay, so I'm gonna get two more rackets. Now we're calling this footwork the front. Why? Because your footwork is like a V. You have to go outside to the front. So start in your basic position with your racket up. Make sure the grip is correct. Then you start with your left leg and with your right. Go back again, right. Left. One more time. Left. Right. Right. Left. To the left side. It's left. Right. Back to the middle. Right. Left. One more time. Left. Right. Right. Left. Okay. The key here is having the right number of steps going out. So when you're playing and you don't need to go that far, one step, dominant leg then comes out. If the shuttle is here and it's so close, one leg will do. One leg will do. But what we're practicing is a footwork wherein the shuttles are on, are there outside to the corners. So again, rack it up. Left, right. Right, left. Left, right. Right, left. For a left-handed person, it's just the other way around. Grip the racket correctly. Start with your right leg, okay? So that's right, left, left, right. Once again, right, left, left, right. On the other side, it's right, left, left, right. One more time, right, left, left, right. So if you're left-handed, you're just doing the footwork the other way around. Okay, since I'm right-handed, I'll be doing more of the right-handed footwork and steps. So again, shoulders, your feet should be as wide as your shoulders. You have to squat a little, keep your racket here in front of you all the time, and when you go out, that's how you hit. Now, if you want to do this V-front while you're at home and you don't have um, a racket or that much space, you can take out everything. And even without a racket, you can actually do the footwork. So just think of two steps. Two steps out, two steps in. One, two. 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 One, two, one, two, one, two. Next footwork is defense. So again, you keep your 
feet as wide as your shoulders. Rack it still up here, close to your face. So from here, you go two steps out. Since I'm right-handed, left leg will move first. Left, right. Back to the middle. Again, left, right. Take note that my feet is pointing where my racket is hitting. Okay, we don't want to be pointing to the front while taking a shot like this because it's gonna strain the knee. So point, so it feels comfortable when you hit. Back to the middle. Once again, left, right. Right, left, okay? Please do not do this, okay? Crisscrossing will only lead you to an even, you know, difficult footwork. So some people would skip, that's fine. Okay, so it's, you have to have a comfortable footwork. Okay, start with your left, left, right. Back to the middle, other side, left, right. Back to the middle, left, right, right, left. Okay, so always go back to your base. Same with left-handed people. Wrap it up, feet as wide as your shoulders. Start with your right, end with your left. Right, left. Left, right, right, left, point your feet, left, right, other side, right, left, okay, again, right, left, left, right, alternately, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, okay, so that's hitting the shot from side to side. If you have to do the defense without the racket, you can just do the footwork. Just maybe put out your dominant hand and swing. So since I'm right-handed, just swing. Next footwork, V back. Okay, so once again, that's why it's called V back because it's like a letter V when we move to the back side of the court. So again, basic position, feet as wide as your shoulders, okay? Now this time, we will do three steps. We will skip, skip two times, and then swing forward. So from here, right arm, right leg goes to the back. One, two, swing, run back in, okay? Again, one, two, swing, run back to the middle. One, two, swing, run back to the middle. On the other side, you have to turn first with your right arm and leg. One, two, swing, run back in. Again, right arm and right leg to the back. One, two, swing, run back in. Okay, so for left-handed people, it's your left hand and your left leg that's going to the back first. Okay, so one, two, swing, run back in, other side, third, one, two, swing, run back in, other side, one, two, swing, run back in, third, one, two, swing, run back in. Now I'm gonna do it alternately. When you're at home and you have to do this footwork without a racket and a limited space, you can do the footwork without the racket. So just turn. Since I already taught you how to do the B front, the defense, and the V-back, we can do some combination footworks. Especially if you have to do it in a very limited space, I'd suggest you put some markers. So a combination could be the front and the side. So just so I sort of have a pattern, you can either put an extra racket or maybe a bag, or maybe you can tape the area. So what you do is from the middle, walk two steps, Maybe put a tape over here or a marker, then walk back another 
another two steps. This is your marker, walk back. So I'm going to use my extra rackets as markers. Okay, so I'll put one here directing me to the front and one here directing me to the side. So front and side, okay? So again, basic position, squat a bit, bend your knees, racket slightly up, close to your face, front, side, right front, left defense, okay? So that's one, two, back to the middle, 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 one, two. Okay, so you can do this drill like maybe 10 times, 10, 20 times. That's one side. You can do two sets or three sets and then switch to the other side. So this side, this is the front side and this is the defense. So with the right footwork, the right stance, left, right, back to the middle. 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 You will notice that my feet, when it ends, points where my racket is. I don't want my feet pointing to the left side while I take the shot here, or pointing it straight while I'm trying to reach something that's far this way. So point feet where your racket is. So for the front, feet is pointing front to the side, feet is pointing to the side. I'll do it again. Left, right, back to the middle, left, right, back to the middle, left, right, back to the middle, left, right. If you have limited space and you can't use a racket or don't have one, you can still work on footwork. Set your racket aside from here, left. Right, back to the middle, left, 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 right. Okay, on the other side, it's the same thing. So I'm just moving my markers. This is the front. This is the side. This is the middle. So from here, going to the front, left, Right, back to the middle, left, right, back to the middle, left, right. Another footwork combination could be the back and side. So the right side backward and the left side defense. Okay, so again, I like to put rackets as my marker, but you can use anything. You can use a bat, any, a jog, but it's just to remind you that that's the direction you're going to. So that's the direction I'm going to. And here for the side. So going to the back and going to the side. So again, ready position. We'll start with the back. Skip, skip, swing, run back in, left, right. Back to the middle, skip, skip, swing, run back to the middle, left, right. Back to the middle, skip, skip, swing, run forward, left, right. Back to the middle, skip, skip, swing, run to the middle, one, two. One more time, skip, skip, swing, back to the middle, left, right. After we've done one side, remember to always do the other side as well. So I'm switching my brackets, so this is the one moving to the back, and this is the one moving to the side. Okay, so for my left back, you have to turn, skip, skip, swing, run back in, left, right, back to the middle, turn, skip, skip, swing, back to the middle, left, right, back to the middle, turn, swing, back, back. Again, if you can't use your racket, set the racket aside, just do the footwork. So turn, swing, 
Working on your footwork is a must if you want to improve as a badminton player. You can click on the links that you see on your screen if you want to learn about how to have the right footwork. Don't forget to subscribe, level up your game, and be the next smashing success!